Washington County with nine coronavirus deaths urges all its 2.2 million residents to work from home, pulls 22,000 students from school and tells everyone over 60 to stay indoors, while state officials warn primary voters not to lick ballots. Eleven people in the U.S. have died from the COVID-19 coronavirus and 165 people have tested positive nationwide. Washington state has been at the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S., with 44 cases and 10 deaths in the state. King County has recorded nine deaths, and Snohomish County has one recorded death. California's Placer County has recorded one death after a cruise ship passenger died from the virus in Washington state. Most deaths were linked to a Seattle area nursing home under federal investigation. King County health officials urged businesses to allow employees to telecommute for the next three weeks. They also recommended that higher risk groups, including people over 60 and who have underlying health issues, to stay home and away from large social gatherings. North Shore School District, which serves 22,000 students in King and Snohomish counties, announced late Wednesday that it was closing all 36 of its schools after a parent tested presumptive positive for coronavirus. The widespread outbreak has now left public health officials in King County, which includes Seattle and is home to over 2.2 million people, urging local businesses to allow employees to telecommute for the next three weeks in an effort to curb the COVID-19 outbreak. Residents of King County Washington, where 31 people have tested positive for coronavirus and 9 people have died, are being advised to work from home to avoid possible exposure to the killer strain. Two women wearing masks are seen leaving the Life Care Center in Kirkland, where the majority of the state's coronavirus cases were reported. Medics will out a person on a stretcher from the Life Care Center of Kirkland on Wednesday as the death toll in Washington state climbed to 10 and another death was reported in California, bringing the nationwide death toll to 11. They are also recommending that higher risk groups, including people over the age of 60, pregnant women and people with underlying health conditions or weakened immune systems, stay home and away from large social gatherings. latest recommendations announced Wednesday came after an employee at Amazon Seattle headquarters was confirmed to have tested positive for coronavirus, potentially exposing some 50,000 others who work at the plant. Hours later officials confirmed that an employee at Facebook's Stadium East office in Seattle had also tested positive. The company said the office will be closed until at least March 9. North Shore School District which serves 22,000 students across King and Snohomish counties, announced late Wednesday that it was closing all 36 of its schools after a parent or volunteer at Woodmoor Elementary tested presumptive positive for coronavirus. The Seattle area has been at the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S., with 39 cases and 10 deaths reported as of late Wednesday. The majority of the cases are believed to have originated at the Life Care Center nursing home in Kirkland. Two other cases have also been reported at Amazon South Lake Union Complex and at Facebook Stadium East Office.
primary concern and our priority remains the health and safety of the residents of life care, the caregivers and health care providers in that setting, the health care providers in our community and our community at large. We are interested in trying to decrease the risk that this infection poses to all of us. We understand again how stressful this is. This is a very uncertain time. There's a lot that we don't know. There's a lot that we don't understand about this new virus, about how it's moving, the spectrum of illness that it causes, and how it's transmitted. But we are doing our very best to ensure that we provide the highest level of guidance to protect the health and safety of our community and of our healthcare workers that are caring for our community members. We have multiple objectives. Uh, we are determined to slow the spread of this virus in the community. We are determined to protect those who are most vulnerable, our older residents, those with compromised immune systems and others. And in doing those things, we also want to protect our economy to make sure that we're able to continue to have people be employed, to have people be able to work. For Older people, which my staff and public health has defined as people over 60 uh, with underlying health conditions. I think that that is going to be something that ha uh, is considered on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, and for those who are pregnant, we are recommending that we stay home and avoid large gatherings as much as possible. Encouraging employers to maximize telecommuting and to make it possible for employees uh, who can work from home to do so. Community groups should avoid creating large gatherings, and the rule of thumb that public health has recommended is gatherings of more than 10 people. North Shore Superintendent Michelle Reed issued a statement saying the schools will remain closed for up to 14 days while we continue to monitor the situation and health department recommendations. Reed said administrators plan to begin conducting classes online on Monday. She noted that multiple individuals across the district are under self-quarantine after being exposed to the virus at a nursing home in the Seattle suburb of Kirkland where the majority of the 39